guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and I'm going to uh, show you some techniques and exercises that you can do to play faster blues licks. And these have helped me a lot. I hope they help you too. Also, real quick, you know, I've got some free courses that can help with that very same thing. Uh, so when you sign my newsletter at martymusic.com in the description below, I'll then send you some courses that relate to the stuff you're working on, such as essential blues licks. So hope you guys do that. Thank you for that extra support. And here we go. All right, a way to play faster blues licks um, is not picking every single note with your right hand. Hammer on, hammer ons, pull offs, and slides added within the scale is how you do that. So let's take the A minor pentatonic scale. Another cool thing is add the blues note, uh, the flat five it's called. So that would be the sixth fret on the A string. But then also the eighth fret on the G string. So one thing you can do is when you're just practicing the scale is hammer on. So I just got two notes with one pick. And then on the A string, I pick it and I play a five, six, seven with one pick. And then you can do the opposite. I pick the A string and I pull off. So I just did two picks and I got one, one, two, three, four, five notes with two picks. Then you can do it nice and slow. Five, seven on the D string. With one pick, you can go five, seven, eight on the G. And then one pick there, one, uh, and then you can also go. So that I did. One, two, three notes with one pick by hammering on and pulling off. not picking every note and doing the hammer on pull offs with the scale. Any scale you can do that with. If I played the C major scale, okay, but here's another kind of, I got this from the Allman brothers, but a very specific uh, exercise you can do that um, sounds like this. You could do that on any two notes in, in any scale, but I'm gonna do the minor pentatonic still, A minor, it's right in the middle of the neck. And I'm gonna go like this. Hammer on from five to seven on the D string. And then a down pick on that fifth fret G string. The next move is to go up to the seventh fret G string and pick that and pull it off. And I'm starting to alternate my picking so I can do it even faster. Then I go back to the seventh fret D string and that pattern starts over again. If you 
you need to start with all down. That's fine, but eventually you want to alternate your picking. again right here. another thing you can do so what I'm doing there is I'm planting my finger on any note of that scale but right there I'm planting it on the fifth fret G string and then with one pick I'm hammering on pulling off that uh, seventh fret and then hitting that seventh fret D so any two notes So that helped me a lot. I hope it helped you too. All right, I hope you guys dug those lessons. Thank you again uh, for hanging out for a bit. Also, don't forget when you sign my newsletter over at martymusic.com in the description below, I'll send you some free courses that can help you a lot more with this stuff. And I appreciate that extra support. Take care and I hope to see you again. <laughs>